how do you travel on the ketogenic diet? Well, this is a question that I actually get asked quite a lot, as well as one that I've had to face having to travel a lot for my current job. But luckily in this video, I've narrowed it down to five essential items that you should take on every single trip if you are on the ketogenic diet to remove the confusion. And let's get started right now. Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm a certified health coach who uses the ketogenic diet to manage not only my own neurological illness, but also help others achieve optimal health. So if you are into that kind of stuff, subscribe to this channel. I have a lot of tips and tricks to keep it practical for you. Now, when you're on the low carb lifestyle and you are traveling, it can be a little bit confusing and it can be a lot to handle. So I've narrowed it down to these five things that I think you should take with you on every single trip. The first of which is vital proteins, collagen, peptides. Now I love these not only because it is compact, it is travel friendly, but this is something that you don't get a lot. If you're traveling, it's easy to acquire meat at restaurants. I'll show you in another video how I order when I am traveling, but you don't get all the essential amino acids, specifically ones like glycine and hydroxyproline, the ones that are good for your nails, your joints, your bones, and your skin. That's why I travel with collagen peptides, but not all collagen peptides are created equal. That's why I like vital proteins. Not only is it pasture raised and grass fed, so you know it's the highest quality, but it contains eight of the nine essential amino acids that you need for healthy bone, skin health, and beyond. Vital Proteins is also one of the easiest brands to attain. It's highly tested. I get mine personally on Amazon. I'll have a link to that down in the description, but you can find it also at your local store and all around. And I think it's pretty affordable and easy to travel with. Now this is a 20 ounce tub. And if you are not on a road trip, it might be a little bit annoying to shove in your carry on luggage. So I do have a solution for you. You can actually go on Amazon and buy a 20 pack of these nice little uh, packets of vital collagens, grass fed collagen peptides. And these are, these are just three of them, but you get a 20 pack of these on Amazon or at your local store. And I think these are even more convenient. You can even have them on the plane or as you're walking through the airport and they're just super easy and throw them in a carry on in your luggage. Super simple. The second thing that I always make sure to travel with is my Redmond's Relights electrolytes. Now, if you're on the ketogenic diet, you know that you need more electrolytes, specifically sodium than probably somebody that's on the standard American diet. That's because for every gram of carb you consume, you hold four grams of water weight. And when you're on a ketogenic diet, you're not consuming a lot of carbohydrates. So you are peeing those sodium, magnesium, potassium, those minerals, those vital minerals out. And when you're traveling, it's a little bit harder to achieve those minerals than it is maybe than when you're eating at home and you have complete control of your diet. So I like to use Redmond Relight because they are a highly trusted brand. They're a local US company. There's no weird added fillers. They actually, you can buy flavored ones of these. They come in lemon lime. You can get strawberry flavor. This is unflavored because I don't like to have any additives like citric acid, but it has all the essential minerals that you need in the proper ratios, especially when you're on a low carb or ketogenic diet. This is very easy to fit in a carry-on in your luggage, bring on a plane. You may get pulled over and they might have to test it. It's happened to me with TSA, but it doesn't take but a minute, but it's a great addition to bring on your travels when on keto. However, if you don't want to buy some electrolytes, you can also travel with Redmond's Real Salt. You can just bring it with you on the plane, in your luggage. That's also very easy to travel with and it's uh, another solution. The third thing I never go without on my travels is my handy dandy Keto Mojo GKI testing meter. Now I like, I'm somebody that likes data. I like to know whether or not I'm in ketosis and this GKI meter is probably the most accurate meter I've found to test whether or not you're in ketosis. It tests his blood sugar, it tests his ketone levels, and it'll give you a GKI reading or the reading that lets you know how deep in ketosis you are. It's very easy to travel with. This thing is small, dainty. You can pack in it your testing strips that I have right here, as well as some lancets and the actual meter and lancet as well. This is something that I don't travel without, but that's only if you really wanna know if you're staying in ketosis. If you're just going for a low carb diet and you don't wanna do all this crazy tracking, this isn't necessary, but I like having the data to make sure I'm keeping progress. But hey, it's vacation, right? So maybe you don't want this on your travel. 
But let's talk about snacks. You know, when you're traveling, you're on vacation, sometimes it isn't always easy to get in a full meal. That's why I brought up the collagen peptides earlier. It's a fast, quick way to get some extra protein in there. But there is another solution. If you're somebody that likes beef jerky, well, you're in luck. I love Nix sticks. It's grass-fed, grass-finished beef jerky. Move over whatever the other brands are out there. Slim Jims, get out of the way. This is tasty and it's super convenient. You can find it at your local store, your health food store, or Whole Foods. I think they're a fantastic addition to bring on when you're traveling. They're tasty and they're a bunch of protein. Each one of these is about 110 calories. So it's a decent amount and it has about 15, 10, 15 grams of protein in there. So it can keep you going. It's a great snack, fantastic addition when traveling. But Ryan, what about the fats? I Keto, you know, it's all about the fats in your diet. It's what's going to be getting you in ketosis and keeping you full and satiated throughout the day. When traveling, that's a little bit harder to do. It's easy to find protein at restaurants, etc. when you're traveling, but it's a little bit trickier to find that uh, that extra, extra fat. You're not going to be traveling with sticks of butter in your backpack. At least I hope not. That might get a little messy. So I do have a solution for you. One of them is carrying MCT oil or medium chain triglycerides in a three ounce bottle like this. You can buy these online on Amazon. You'd probably find them at Walmart even. And you can fill these. I'd like to fill them to the top with MCT oil so that I make sure that I'm keeping on my regimen and getting enough healthy fats. This is really easy. You can just put it in your carry-on. You can take it out at security. It passes through generally really fine. And this is probably the easiest solution to add extra fats in when you're traveling. In addition to that, if you're somebody that likes nut butters, which I'm a little partial on, you can find these Justin's creamy uh, almond butter in packets of 10 or 20, and you can find these at your local store on Amazon, and they're a great addition to bringing in your carry-on or in your checked bag luggage. They don't take up any space at all, and I find them very, very tasty. I sometimes just eat them out of the pack. Now, one thing to watch out for is sometimes these do have hidden oils that you don't want in there, some seed oils, but when you're traveling, it's far from the worst thing you could be consuming. So hopefully this video was helpful. Those are my top five things. All those things will be down, linked in my description below. Let me know what you travel with and I will see you in the next video.